Alright, so you're wandering through the internet. Entertainment levels are low. You both are about to die of boredom. What do you want to do? I look for a cool new podcast! Yeah, and I assist. Alright, give me an investigation check. Oh yeah, and roll with advantage. Kinian's Drunken Escapades Aboard the Golden Goose Golden Goose, what a terrible name Ah, that was some good booze I wonder what that was I drank a lot of that booze And then they put me on stage Again? Was I on stage? I don't remember I do remember I totally Oh, maybe I was a druid one point in my life because some crabs came aboard the ship and from what people said I was imitating the crabs and they were falling over dead and one like jumped off the ship what how'd that go again oh yeah 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 um you know sometimes when you when you think too hard about something you just end up you know knocking someone out and stuffing them in a closet somewhere for hopefully they don't you know die because that'd be terrible because you know i don't i don't hurt people much and uh yeah i totally helped this guy out by you know i did no no i didn't break into the safe i saved this guy from getting his safe full of goods stolen from an octopus i think that's how it went and, uh... Krakens. What's a Kraken? Kraken Society? Cracker Lacken? Hmm. Maybe if I drink some more, I'll remember next time. You guys see out one of the windows in this lavish, gaudy room a beacon of light circling above the city uh, out in the darkness. So if you think about this, you guys are uh, out on the river and it's kind of a scenic tour type type deal. And the city lights are uh, playing off of the water and are out in the distance. And you see a, you see just this one light keeps circling like a hawk uh, way above the city. Then on the east side of the city, the east side of the river, you see against the uh, starlit background, this inky black smoke rising up out of uh, the fringes of the town. And, uh, and from where you're at, you can still hear uh, screaming coming across the river. Um, you're not that far away. Uh, or you're not too far away uh, to not hear the, the shouts of terror. You see uh, these tiny black blobs uh, block out some of the stars and they just like uh, they drop in on the city the Zent friend of, of Kinian he uh, walks in uh, or walks up to the uh, this office and is like Lord Dryland uh, <clears throat> what's <clears throat> going on here brother uh, slight misunderstanding is uh, I caught his octopus breaking into his safe and he didn't quite believe me Oh, okay. Uh, we need to get with the captain. There's something going on on shore. All right, let's uh, let's head to shore. And uh, he says, uh, "Did you did you find anything valuable?" What? The, the octopus? In the room. In the room? Don't I've we... I've been curious. I mean, didn't you say there's something happening on shore? Don't we have more pressing concerns? Well, money is everything. In the background, Kyo is preparing the dead as is the um, way of his people. He's pulling out oregano and uh, <laughs> margarine <laughs> and other, other entombing spices. Well, I basically act, well, because I'm basically not answering mm -hmm. as an answer. Mm -hmm. And... Since my focus is on protecting people, I'm just going to kind of drag him with me to tell me where to go. 
Okay. The the Zenk guy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of, or like push him along, whatever, but yeah, he, he's he, like, he has no choice but to follow me. <laughs> he says, uh, he says, no need to push, miss. Ah, I'll take you to the captain's helm. And, uh, and he walks, he walks to this area and, uh, and the captain is like white as a, as a sheet. And he's starting to turn the ship to go westward, away from the smoke. How uh, wide is the the river? Uh, very wide. It doesn't matter because I have water walk plus if you, we need to. Plus, you get the the wind walk. That mm -hmm. Plus, I can control water, so I can do like a Noah thing and part the sea, whatever. But that'd be dope. Go <laughs> no, and spell slots. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I can't. I can't do the control water thing. Speaking of spell slots, that's right. <laughs> I, he says, I I grab the helm. The helm, you grab it. He's, yeah. The captain's like, "Hey, what? What are you doing?" I spin the wheel, and it's just. It's a flat bottom boat, so it's not gonna like list like heavily, but it shifts pretty quickly towards towards shore. Uh, the rudder is still all the way over. Um, I beach us on the west shore. Okay. Okay. On and the east the shore. shore. On the on West, the short where the fire is. The yeah, shore. that's the east shore. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's all right. And uh, uh, okay, you just like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> run aground. Yeah. <laughs> the Zen guys. We've run aground, Captain. <laughs> I turn to my my Zen brother and I say, "There, there may have been treasure. Uh, my recommendation to you is." Find what you can before the ship goes under. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the rich folk down below are just screaming. Um, uh, yeah. And you not, guys... not an excitement for... No, no, no. Definitely in terror. <laughs> um, not only did the ship crash, but, but uh, there's a battle raging uh, beyond. You guys are... Um, while this is kind of going down, Keo's kind of sifting through still the bag of holding. Yeah. And uh, and you find inside of there, you find um, four berries. Four berries. Yep. Uh, they, are, they are deep crimson red. Yeah. Um, and they smell very sweet. Uh, it's they kind good? of like a cranberry. Are they good? I don't know. Did you try it? <laughs> oh. Mm. Ooh, I am trained in survival. Okay. Kyo, he looks at the berries intently, and at a <laughs> five, do they appear poisonous? No. No? I'm going to pop one in my mouth. <laughs> you pop one in the, yeah. your mouth? Hmm. What's yeah. Those? Yeah. Nope. Those are safe. And uh, uh, when you chew on them, uh, you start to feel pretty well rested, uh, like you've taken a long rest. And you feel you feel as if your mind has cleared, and you might be able to cast uh, uh, at all your spell slots, uh, effectively giving you a full rest. Hmm. Uppers. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of these. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I go to those and I'm like, here, have some good berries. <laughs> right, that's not a good berry. Oh, it's a very good berry. It's a dank berry. <laughs> it's like good, good berry. Sorry, I was only half paying attention. Does it fully heal you? Yeah, it's a it's a long rest. I so, would uh, long totally, rest in a berry. Yeah, I totally hold on to love mine. one of those. You hold on to yours, okay? I. Uh, I'm at full health. I haven't cast any spells. I'm good. I'm gonna. <laughs> does Kyo give me one? Yeah. I okay, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use it then. You you see uh, swarms of people running towards the the shoreline. There's people packing the bridge that goes between uh, the east and west side of the city uh, that crosses over the the river. It looks like rats trying to get off a ship, basically. Only these rats are running towards the water. They're trying to get away from whatever's uh, deeper into this. Uh, towards the outreaches of the city. How far is the smoke? Uh, you would think a few blocks away. 
I start yeah. at a, like a medium jaw. Okay. Um, I don't I don't remember if I uh, described this, but as you guys are riding up in the boat, uh, going backwards a little bit, you see that circle, the the light circling. You see it go into a nosedive towards the towards the smoke. Does it look like? The way the light is formed, does it look like almost a weird shape where it could be like two wings? It it thing? looks it or looks is it like a perfectly circular humanoid. Okay, so it is yeah. humanoid in shape. Yep, yep. Um okay. it'd be a rash, rational guess to think it might be Bond. Okay. Yeah, so so Kinian starts running just dashing towards it, right? And you guys are trying to uh you guys follow, I assume? Yeah. Uh, I'm yep. going to attempt to jump on Kinian before it gets too far away. Okay. <laughs> Or he just rushes into danger. Yeah, I, I try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're like, wait, wait, can you wait? And so he, I guess I pick myself up and start. Yeah, I, and he's I, just I, like deftly moving between these people or barreling through, through like, whatever you would like to do. <laughs> I can't even catch. What do you throw? Can you? Or oh, Kyo. Kyo. <laughs> can you throw Kyo? Well, if we want to swim bag of holding, say about fifty pounds. Yeah, he's, got, got he's got he's got strength. Yeah. Yeah. D- yeah. Did you say like down set hike first? Yeah. You know, because the <laughs> us orcs are used to playing catch <laughs> with uh, acrobatic to see if I can land on him. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve is good enough. Yeah. You're in his vicinity. Yeah, I'd catch you with that. Yeah, just <laughs> uh, out of the air, and you just start running with Keo between your uh, your body and your arm. Uh, like a football almost, um, and, uh, so and Keo, your arms are out straight in order to like cast a spell if you need to. Oh, I've got my, my staff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> uh, I, I turned to, to Keo like while I'm running. I said, "Do you want the backpack?" I'll climb up on your shoulders. All right. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, because I'm used to fighting from a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oh uh, so, uh, uh, it's you a good guys, thing you didn't say that out loud. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even feel a cue on me. Uh, and uh, so you guys, uh, you guys pass one, two blocks, and uh, you turn the corner going towards the the city wall, and right there, a uh, uh, you've hit one of the bases of the smokestack or smoke tower. Uh, one of the shops, uh, it's actually the shop that Gio got his, uh, so your sig- signet, signet ring. Signet ring. Yeah. Uh, that's on fire right now. And uh, what you see around the this mm-hmm. shop and other shops mm-hmm. is a uh, a whole bunch of uh, bugbears and some goblins intermixed. Rounding two corners of this block, it's a four-way uh, crossing. Mm-hmm. Uh, rounding two of these corners is six ogres. So what you're looking at, enemy-wise, you're looking at six ogres, 12 bugbears, and 12 goblins. And are there people interspersed with them, or? Uh, no, this it's pretty barren here. The, everybody cleared out pretty good. As we approach, yep. seeing the massive number of obvious enemy combatants. Oh yeah, they're they're lighting yeah. the shops on fire. I what Keo would do, <laughs> okay. as soon as he sees this, is yep. fight fire with fire. He would, Takes a chunk of phosphorus, sticks it in his pipe, blows a smoke ring, turns okay. into a ring of fire, 20 feet in diameter, okay. and then it circles as many of them as possible. Okay. Flame. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're getting most of them. Um, just, okay. I so know, I know that's kind of cheating yep. nope, that's as a fine. combat, but as well, we it'd be a surprise. Combat, but, it'd, yeah. They're not. They probably not expect a whole bunch yep. of people to come attack them. Yep. And then and then as you're running up, Manette, so, you're able to shoot one if you like. Well, we'll count this as a surprise round. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they don't know you're there. There's there's too many people running around. Fur, 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 fur. Nice, nice. Who are you aiming for? The nearest ogre. Ooh, my dice weren't too shitty. Okay, so nearest ogre. Uh, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight points of damage. Yep. All right. Uh, it looks rough. I'm used to Oh yeah. Yeah. Keo, you got. All of the goblins, they were packed together, oh, okay. uh, and they were part of the fire brigade. Uh, you also got a, uh, a handful of bugbears and two mm-hmm. ogres in your uh, in your ring of fire. Well, whichever ones are within 
See, it's a 20 foot diameter. Oh, mm -hmm. never mind. The, it's 10 feet from the side that does damage. Okay. So that would make it all the way to the middle. Yep. So that gets everybody. Because it's 10 feet yep. all the way So around. they would all need to make, they, they make a deck saving throw of DC 13. Okay. Or. <clears throat> 23 damage. <clears throat> plus fire? Oh, yeah, plus two. So 25. 25 mm -hmm. damage? And those who succeed get half. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. I don't need to know who fails and who succeeds. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Um, uh, you hear uh, shouts of pain mm -hmm. uh, and some death cries. Uh, the wall of fire is still up. Yeah. And there's a still a very target rich environment of uh, ogres and bugbears outside of this wall of fire. All right. Uh, go ahead and take your turn. Yeah, I'm going to cast Fireball. It's 20 foot radius, so it's 40 foot diameter. Okay, so the other the other section? Uh, just whatever has the most people. enemies. Okay, okay, I'm, sounds good. I'm going for maximum coverage. Yep. And I need <laughs> one more d6. So they're, they're well, they, they fail their save. Oh, I'm assuming it's less than 15? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I rolled two twos, so. 25 damage, fire. 25 damage, fire. I love using fireball before AOE, everyone gets man. all up in their business. Yeah. Even Kenny. Meaning before Kenny. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> then once you're in there. It's not, it's not just Kenny. Yeah. It's, it's not just Kenny. All right. Pocket Kyo. <laughs> pocket pocket Kyo. Gold. I all right. I don't want to burn you guys. Kenny, so. what do you want to do? What do I see? Okay, so what you just saw. Fire. The ring of fire uh, appear around half of the group, basically. And then a fireball comes over your shoulder and lands on the other half. The other, the half that received the fireball all look mangled. Like, uh, not quite dead, but mostly dead. What do I see outside of the ring of fire that outside is of easily the... accessible? Uh, you see uh, lots of bugbears and lots of ogres. And uh, those all look extremely mangled. I run to the the closest. Uh, Keeping Keo in your arms. Yeah. Okay. Oh. He's on my backpack. Oh, sure. oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Just okay. kind of up on top, and uh, I rage. Okay. And uh, not even caring about which enemy I'm hitting. Yep. It's uh, target rich environment. You were saying. Yep. I keep my wits about me, and. Uh, I recklessly attack. Oh, right. <gasps> because those so are barbarian wits. So surprised. Then gonna hit with a 24. Uh, yep. 13 damage. Uh, on a ogre, is that right? Whatever the closest. Okay. And I swing again. Yeah, it was a crap roll. 26. 14 damage. Dead. One of the ogres uh, keels over after you uh, murder face it. All right, so. It's the one that I shot. Uh, yes. He's got a couple more holes in him now. Uh, it is now time to roll initiative. These shit rolls. Did you touch my dice? Ooh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh my God. Four. Okay. Fifteen. I know, twelve. 12. So, you see a blob come in <whistles> over the city wall. As it gets closer, it looks awfully spiky. I need um, deck Kitty, save. A deck save, please. Deck save. Nineteen. Yeah. You you uh, save. Uh, you don't take any damage. You're able to uh, dodge out of the way as this ball of spiky mass splats on the ground next to you. When it hits, blood splatters all over you, and uh, it like unrolls itself. And it is a dead goblin in uh, what looks to be Battle Rager armor. Oh, okay. Um, question, do I dead, have to? Though. Dead, though. <laughs> yeah, real dead. Okay. Real dead. It fell, it, fell over, uh, it fell over 60 feet from the pinnacle of its... Do I need to make any checks to see if I stay on him? 
No, no, you're fine. Okay. No, you're good. He's used to how Kenny yeah, is. Yeah, you got handle. Back. You got I'm, handle I'm animals, my, right? I, I'm I'm grabbing with my toe claws on his own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Animal claws. handling. I've got a hook for my great axe too. That yeah. you're doing on. You've got animal handling skills. You know how Kenyan fights. Yes, yeah, like an animal. animal <laughs> skills. I just uh, use them. <laughs> you is... might not be skilled in, but you have experience. <laughs> You hear That's screams easy, of death okay. um, uh, come from the circle of fire. <laughs> it's at the end of their turn. Yep, yep. Uh, you also hear screams of bugbears' deaths uh, in that ring of fire. So sad. Uh, and you hear cries of pain from the ogres um, that were caught in that ring. Mm-hmm. And then the, uh, the bugbears and ogres that are outside... There is going to be uh, four that surround uh, Kinian and uh, Keo. Uh, four bugbears. They come in and they attack uh, Kinian. Both misses. And then uh, they're going to, the second two are also going to miss because, uh, you know, the one got off a little bit. Same team and all, but he was recklessly attacking. Oh, thank you. Every okay. time. Well, then the first two, <laughs> first two, the first two miss no matter what. Let's do. Okay. Uh, the one hit and crit. All right. Uh, and crit and getting crit by the bugbear is bad. So yeah. They get extra uh, dice. Four damage from the one. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, they rolled the minimum <laughs> damage. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. Uh, 16 plus 5 is... 21. 21 plus 2. So, 23. You know, uh, for the second one. No big deal. Alright. That's okay. just 11 minutes. Yeah. And then... Um, okay, so that's four of them. Four... And then the other four are going to throw javelins at uh, at the two ranged people. So two at Manette. Uh, let's see, you are AC. Okay. Uh, gonna miss on the first one, hit on the second one. Um, and Manette, you will take uh, D6. 11 damage in total. And then 10. You are going to skate through by the skin of your teeth. Woohoo! Um, next is the ogres. In the the that moment when I suffer the damage, mm-hmm. you see my eyes turn red, my pupils turn red, and you hear Kenyan say slowly and slowly, almost otherworldly, say, "Betrayal never comes from your." enemies. The ogres will uh, rush up and attack at Kinian. There are, so just to lay it out, there's four bugbears around Kinian, and now uh, three ogres. Uh, (coughs) Just how Kinian likes it. Yeah. Uh, Keo, though, (laughs) any ranged attack is, yeah, obvious. How many are attacking Kinian right now? Uh, three ogres, four bugbears, so seven in total. No I'm gonna, when one of the ogres attacks, I'm gonna use warding player. Okay. Um, so they all have advantage, but one. Yeah. Okay, I got you. All right, so we'll resolve the first one. Uh, great club comes in. You should save it if they go for Q. No. In the future. Uh, great club Archers. comes in, and at an 18, yep. uh, that's gonna hit. Uh, then we'll resolve the rest. That's going to hit at a 20, and then that's going to be a 15, which isn't going to hit, and that's three. You got two hits. It's got a character. Oh, oh no. Fram, fram? No, uh, max damage, though. Uh, yeah. 16 plus 4, 20 damage. No big deal. And then uh, this one is... Kyo is getting worried. Yeah, like yeah. This. Um, this... Never before has Mount of his taken so much damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nine. Uh, so 13 damage on the second strike. Uh, I need you to uh, to make uh, 
Keo, I need yeah. you to make a dexterity uh, save, please. <laughs> Uh, as a great club comes in uh, from behind, uh, attacking at Kinian's head. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. You're able to duck down, and uh, and that's the blow that misses uh, Kinian, okay. and you're able to duck down too underneath that blow. So okay. You hear creepy laughter coming from. Oh me. no. Yeah. Okay. It is Kinian's turn. Whatever's closest. So I mean, Kyo's AC is, is 18. Oh. 25. Well, I'll still blast off the shield. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Kyo throws his shield, which does what? It's plus five. Years. Plus five. Yeah, so isn't still isn't going to make it. So you swing backwards and you, uh, you attack at the beast that is on your shoulders. 15 damage. And I swing again. Okay. What um, what kind of armor are you wearing? The dragon scale. Dragon scale. Matters. Uh, nineteen plus twelve. All right. Oh. The um wall of fire drops. Okay. Fifteen damage. All right. Uh, so Keo takes thirty in the wall. Whatever you take. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the wall looking of, bloodied. Yeah. The wall of fire drops, and what you see is all but two ogres uh, have died. Succumb to the flames. Succumb to the flames. Uh, there is just a mass of crusty bodies uh, where the circle once was. Uh, smells sweet, Kyo. Smells sweet. Uh, it is Kyo's turn. Uh, you are effectively surrounded, by the way, Kyo. Yeah. Kyo goes, what? <laughs> And he, he drops the apple that he was grabbing out of his pack to yep. feed Kinian. Yeah. <laughs> and he thinks he's cowering. And Kyo misty steps. All right. Kyo abandons his mount. <laughs> Dismount. He doesn't know what's up. How? All right. I got to ask this question. <laughs> How does Keo feel about this? Because he has now been let down by his father, by his future <laughs> wife, oh. and by his best friend, right? No, his Chanton was his best friend. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Kenyon's a poor replacement. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. so uh, you know, he was hoping to be best friends with Kenyon maybe someday. But, but now, there's always been something a little off. <laughs> And Kyo just figured it out. It's that Kinian's murderous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's my bonus action. Okay. And then as my action, I'm going to twin firebolt and shoot the two like most hurt looking guys. Okay. Yeah. Poop, poop. And those are deck saves, right? Yeah. Most hurt. No, no, it's all attacks. Attacks. Attack rolls. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's gonna be two ogres, the ones that came out of the fire ring. Okay, so they're not by anybody. No. Okay, that's fine. So, attacking the first one, that is 15 plus five points should hit. Mm-hmm. And attacking the second one will be uh, seven. seventeen after modifier. Uh, that hits. And each of those is going to be two d ten. So the first one takes uh, 15 fire. Okay. And the second one takes six. Yeah. <laughs> second one takes 11. Fire. Second one takes 11. Yeah. They both drop to their knees, just shoot, and then fall face first on the ground. And um, I, I went back towards my allies. Uh-huh. I don't know if 20 feet gets me to them, or, yeah. or I guess it's 30 feet, isn't it? Misty step. Yep. Should be enough to get me back yep. there. Yep. You are hiding me. right behind Manette. And I'm like, something's yep. wrong with Kinian. And you hear like Rawr! in the center of this like I think, ring of beating. I think there's a zone of truth. <laughs> nice. nice. And that would be my turn. Minette. So I got hit. Why did I get hit by? A javelin. <laughs> a sorry. javelin yes. from from uh, one of the dead ogres. One or wait, not no. dead ogres. I'm sorry. I feel like the bugbear. Bugbear. Yeah. Bugbear. 
are there any more javelins that might be coming my direction? Yes. From the from the four that threw javelins at you. Oh, they got more. Yeah. It's fast. Yeah, they got two. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't like You shoot them. the one that hit you? Yeah. Like you just Absolutely. kinda give them the eyes. Absolutely. Uh well I try. Twelve on a bugbear. Nope, not gonna do it. So I'm uh, back. You blow apart some of his shoulder armor, and you move back. I move yeah, back. Okay. And Kira's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, it is uh, Tin's turn. Okay. So, uh, what you see in front of you is three ogres surrounding Kinian. Four bugbears surrounding Kinian, and four bugbears aiming javelins at you guys. At uh, you three, Kyo, I'm gonna use um, channel divinity radiance of the dawn. Oh shit! <laughs> and there oh. was fire. Well, now there's daylight. Let there be light. It's thirty um, foot radius, so if she can get. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna position myself to be within thirty feet of as many as possible. They have to make a con saving throw of 15. Okay. And then... Now, is that all hostile? Yeah, all hostile. Don't Only worry. Hostile. Sorry, same team. But... No, don't worry. Lathander knows... Technically, he attack. hasn't been hostile towards her, so I would say he'll be fine. Uh, fail, fail. Uh, so, uh, what is it, a con? Yeah. Okay, I got nine as my highest, so I think they're both available. Yeah, I've got a 15. Yep. Okay, so it's 16 plus seven, so 23. 23 damage? Yeah, radiant. Okay. Uh, How many die? <laughs> so, so these these streams of light come out of the come out of the mm-hmm. uh, sky, right? And Lathander uh, puts down the herd on these people as the bolts strike through each one of the bugbears, uh, felling them. And uh, what was the full damage? I'm sorry. 25, 20, or 23, sorry, 23. 23. And uh, the ogres look very rough. That's what they get for attacking them up rounds. Yeah. Uh, actually, one ogre dies. Okay, so all you have left is two ogres. All right, the ogres, basically being wiped out in almost one turn, uh, they turn tail. Uh, let's see how well that goes for them. Well, one of them takes 14 damage. One of them takes 14 that's, damage. That's your opportunity attack, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that one dies. <laughs> and the other one just lumbers around the corner. Uh, uh, and is running away. Next! Not for long. Uh, a, uh, Another blob comes flying from uh, from over the the uh, city wall, and when I say one blob, th- there's many that are flying over. This one is just so Close happen to be to in your area. Annette, deck save, please. Oh, I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make Kenyon go twice. Nine. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's start with what your physical damage is. Yeah, let's. Because <laughs> there's more than just physical hurt. Well, yeah, there's the mental hurt. Too. <laughs> uh, here we are. Uh, five, seven, and nine in total for uh, the physical pain. And uh, you take force damage, or I'm sorry, bludgeoning as this thing smacks into you from 60 feet above. Doesn't count as physical damage. Okay, so the <laughs> spikes cut you. I got you. spikes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now I'm getting yeah. bludgeoned. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, six, so ten, and then uh, seven. So seventeen points of damage as this goblin smashes into you and uh, dies on impact. You are stuck uh, underneath this goblin. And if you are to move without without this goblin being off of you, you will take damage. You are effectively pinned, and the more you move, the more you get cut. It's, it's 
like grappling with, yeah. can with I a lift battle it? rager. With a battle rager. Yep. What? Can I lift it? Uh, potentially. Yeah, I mean we're out of com- uh, out of combat now, so I want to lift it. Uh, yeah. Or I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, we're not. No, we're not. So hold on. We'll get to you. We'll get to you. Get in. I'll say I'm not letting monsters yeah, attacking that's the village true. just that's run true. away. I forgot about the. My eyes are gleaming red. Yeah. And I'm chanting murder. Murder. <laughs> red rum. Murder. Red rum. <laughs> and I look for the closest creature within 60 feet. So technically, there is nobody within 60 feet of you. I. There's no enemy. The other enemy. The other enemy was able there is to no run enemies. more than 60 there's feet. There's us. Correct. The right. closest creature within 60 feet. Oh, okay. Okay, so. These two are within 30 feet of you. He's pointing to Ten and Yeah, ten, 10 and Kyo. Sorry. One to three, four to six. I go after Tenubial. All right. That's probably for the best. I'm going to do a warding flare. So you're at disadvantage because I'm assuming you're attacking me. I will roll one die. And a 16. Um, that meets. 15, no, 14 damage. Okay. And the wording flare is for one attack, correct? Yeah. Yeah. A recklessly attack. They're the equidistant, or am I right up on her? You're right up on her. I hit you again. That'll hit. 17 damage. VIP for the other team. <laughs> hey, I took a lot more from that fucking goblin. <laughs> and you hear me say, betrayal, betrayal, betrayal. Nice. So, Keo, it's your turn. All right, so bonus action. I am going to dump six spell points to create a fourth level spell slot. Okay. There are six sorcery points. And he's going to launch a chromatic orb of fire type. At whom? At Kinian. I mean, what's he supposed to do? Nope, no, 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 I'm, I'm not judging you. Is Tenubial in danger? Hmm? Is Tenubial in danger of this spell? I don't, I'm not familiar with No, that. it's, okay. um, so I, I shoot this little ball of fire Single out. target. Single target. Okay. I have advantage because you're hostile to one of my allies, which is good. Oh. Um, does a 15 hit? 17. Well, plus I yeah. reckless attacks, so yeah. you would have an advantage regardless. Yeah. yeah. I roll a one and a 10. Yeah. Uh, next is Manette. Average rolls with advantage. I'm gonna lift this thing off. Me. Yeah. Uh, you're easily just like. Uh, when you do, uh, you take four points of piercing damage, and uh, and you are no longer in threat of of being uh, cut by this thing. Does that take my action? To- uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, when you look around, you see you see the battle going on between uh, Tin Kyo and Kinian. You see my pupils sort of change color briefly. I'm not that perceptive. <laughs> well, Tenubial. I am perceptive. And I realize this is your turn, but Tenubial s- mm-hmm. sees that my eyes, the, the pupils have changed to black briefly. And I, I mutter like, gutturally saying, get away from me. Uh, and then my eyes shift back to red and uh, I let out a howl like you've never heard before. I stay on the ground. Do I still have my <laughs> thunder cannon with me? Yeah, it's right next to you. Okay. Yep. So all you hear is just this loud right. howl. This, this is my thunder cannon. It's yep. like many other thunder cannons, no, it's but not. this one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> this one's gonna wand on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Ten. Well, I know there's no point trying to disengage and run because you won't make it far enough. Well, yeah. You can move five feet faster than me per minute per turn. 
I don't know what the heck's going on with Kenyon, but I'm going to... I have enough health where I'm going to try to kill one of the fleeing ogres still because they're fleeing and... Mm -hmm. It's turned a corner, so you haven't, you can't see it. Oh. It's the only one left, too. Oh. Yeah. Poop. Yeah, Never yeah, mind yeah. then. Well. You do have it. one enemy in range. You could double oh. move away from Kinian. From Kinian. Then he wouldn't be able to chase you down and attack you. <laughs> He's got an attack of opportunity. Ooh. You don't want to get yeah. the one attack. One attack um, versus two. Yeah. And then I can use a bonus action if I double move? Yes. Yeah, there's a okay. bonus action. Yeah. All right, so then I'll do that. Okay. Um, so you double move? Double move away. You could warding flare. I'm going to warding flare, yeah, on my retreat. Flat out disadvantage. Well, so it's disadvantage 5 plus 12, 17. 14. Okay. What's a strength score? Yeah, four. plus a plus 3 plus axe. Plus 7. Plus two. Okay, for my bonus, I'm gonna use Mass Healing Word, and I'm gonna use it on me, Q, and Manette, because I'm thinking we have to knock Kenyon unconscious, potentially. You try. Um, well, I'm not gonna heal you until I know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, that would be wild. Uh, just but. a heads up, uh, in this case, as it seems to be moving forward, you can do non-lethal damage. Okay. Uh, uh, what that means for Minette is shooting in not the kill box, so, uh, you know, hamstrings, stuff like that. But anyways, mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to point that out. Okay. Plus four. So eight hit points for the three of us that are not Kinyan. All right. What you hear at the city wall, you hear, like, this booming, like, boof, 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 like giant fists knocking on a giant door. And, uh, and you hear, Come up to play, little ones! Boom, boom, boom. I already don't like this person. Whoever they are. Gideon, uh, make a deck save for me, please. 13? 13. Okay, you need to uh, take damage. You are going to take... Uh, 18 points of damage, and then you take, on top of that, another 16 bludgeoning. Jeez. Yep. All right. It is, uh, Kinian's turn. Can I see or hear anything within 60 feet? Oh, yes. Yeah. You can see these peoples, and then you can hear the... The, uh, the loud voice banging on the... Oh, that's not 60 feet, though, so... What's yeah. the closest thing within 60 feet? Shh, shh, shh. Probably still 10. Oh, wait, no, 10 ran away. Yo. I was gonna say I ran, so I'm 70 feet away. Mm -hmm. I move like you. Mm -hmm. I can't use working fire. And I would use shield. 24. That's uh, one... Better than that. Oof. 15. Oh, no, I'm still awake. <laughs> I'm awake! I'm awake! <laughs> I hit him again. <laughs> no, 24. Alright, no, no, I'm not conscious. 12. Yep. yep. I'm, I'm at negative 5. Uh, Keo, make your death save, please. Nice. Success. All right. Oh. Woo. Uh, Manette. Now, does this work till we're dead or till we're unconscious? It is until there is uh, a uh, a live threatening creature. So he, I don't think he will attack unconscious creatures. He'll have to check. Well, way was I able to see all of this happen? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you I wasn't like. Deal pinned underneath something I couldn't You're no longer a Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we were definitely yeah, you're, you're, I was exactly shouting gonna, like, what the hell can you? You're basically, like, yeah. Right. And that, what you gonna do with, what you gonna do when the well, Kenyan comes for you? <laughs> you, sh 
it's so bad. You um, probably keep moving away from me. So, <laughs> while he's looking that up, mm-hmm. so when Kenyon started acting weird and having the whole demon black eyes thing, yes. Was there anything environmental that I saw happen to him to make that change, or it just seems like he just flipped a switch internally? He got hit, and then by uh, one of the black blob thingies. Uh, yeah, whatever caused him damage, I forget which one. I think it was a bugbear that caused him bugbear. damage, and uh, uh, he got hit, and then uh, he f- wigged out. Okay. Uh, you saw him go into rage beforehand, and this is something beyond rage. Rage. I'm gonna have to get within touch distance. Awesome. I'm gonna try and reduce you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Tiny pincer hands. So, uh, you need to make a constitution saving throw. Darn it. And if I am unwilling, is it at disadvantage for you? Mm, no. Oh, no. You make the save. Okay. If it's willing, you don't if have it's to make oh, okay. it. just happens. I was just curious. Yeah. That's a, a 14. <laughs> you needed a 15. <laughs> you shrink. <laughs> you are half as big. Uh, you have disadvantage on strength checks and sync saving throws. Which um, means attacks. And, yeah, yes. an attack is a strength check. Okay, now my plan's not as scary. Okay. And your weapon attacks deal 1d4 less damage. Yes! So it cannot, cannot be reduced below 1. But yet, yes. he persists. <laughs> uh, it's he but got reduced. she persists. <laughs> yeah. So he's your size. Yeah, he's your size. <laughs> Alright. Um, anything else? I run away? (laughs) (laughs) You're further now. I got you. So I said you're further. You got this, guys! (laughs) Uh, uh, Tim. Can I move 35 feet and get to Kenyon because I moved away from him, but not necessarily away from Kyo, and he's where Kyo is? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to be kind of stupid. Stupid, mm. and run time. right up into Kenyon's no. space, and I'm going that. to touch him and cast Remove Curse. So if whatever this is is a curse, um, all curses affecting Kenyon or whatever objects on him are over. Can I can I see that? But card if real it's quick? a cursed magic, then the curse remains. Okay, so you you cast it. And brace myself to get punched in the face. Yes. Uh, you cast Remove Curse, mm-hmm. and Kinian's eyes go from a red back to a standard orcish black. <sighs> that was my last third level spell. So and uh, uh, Kinian, you feel as if uh, you are not compelled to hold on to this weapon at this time. You still have that pit feeling with it being important to you, but uh, you are not compelled by the weapon to only use this weapon. Do I know what happened? As far as what just happened? Yeah. No, you blacked out. I put my axe back on my back. Yeah, and you just look at at everybody. I'm like, hey guys. I'm like, whoa. And I, I run up to Kyo and, yeah. and pour a potion into his mouth. All right. Well, <laughs> He Are we still in combat? To you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. You're short. You're like, oh shit, guys. I really don't know what happened. Can you use a potion on someone unconscious? Yes, seven okay. plus two, nine. Okay. So I don't know. Kyo looks and he, he starts screaming. Ah! <laughs> Get away! It's a tiny Kenyan. <laughs> And Kyo mostly it's a stops normal away from, sized Kenyan. from Kenyan. No, Kenyan's usually rather big. So just the but other side of Kyo, he's instead of being huge, he's normal size now. Kyo. Oh wait, you you, you grew. 
for the intelligence. <laughs> I, I just saw Kenyon's face. Yeah. Just, that was the la- last thing I saw before I left. Yep. Yep. So, so I'm, I'm behind Nuviel. Okay. So Misty step there. Everybody's she's a, huge. She's a, the scariest person. I'm keeping person this up for as long as possible, so it lasts for one minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. So, Kinian, you run over, you pour a potion down, down Keo's throat. He wakes up, he screams at you, like, in terror, and, uh, and everybody's eyes shoot towards the wall as a blob flies over the wall. I need you to, uh, Keo, to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage because you are prone. Is the blob attacking Keo? Mm, it's not No, not source. necessary. Oh, so it's, I can't use a, warding flare. No, okay. no. The trajectory is set. Yes. Okay. Um, but I'm right next to you so I can touch you and cast uh, Bless? As a reaction? Or... Mm. No. I, I know, so that's a bonus, yeah. No, but you'll mind. be able to okay. heal him. No, I'm going to have to use yeah. another potion. <laughs> <laughs> You're just down again. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's good enough. Six is good enough, right? Six is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one second. Let's hope we don't kill Keo. Everybody's It'd favorite tiny lot. dragon. It would take a lot. Oh, that's a lot of damage, You need too. three death saves. Mm, I just raised it. It resets. Yeah, I know, but if it goes over his maximum. Oh, it would have to double his max, yeah. Okay, so seven. uh, And then you take. Oh, wait, no. Seven plus uh, another three, which is uh, ten. He's unconscious. I'm unconscious now. Okay. And this hit. It's it's all the same. Oh, yeah, it's all the same. No. Is this all the same hit? Yeah, it's, it's. You said it was spikes and then bludgeoning. Well, it's. it's yeah, I mean, so it's so, at the same time. It, it happens at the same time. It's just different types of damage. If that makes sense. So, like, your your gunshot is one hit, but it's piercing and thunder. Does that make sense? Just for calculating yeah. damage, it's yeah. two steps. Right, right, right. So, just make sure we don't so, double anything. I doubt we can. So, so it's 3d6. He doesn't an auto crit, he's just down. Yeah, yeah. It can 3d6... No, I have 44 hit points, normally. Or 66. Hmm. 66. Can that That's still... 36. Okay, then, then we're fine. Okay. Even 36 plus 7, it's not... Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, uh, on top of Keo, now rests a dead... Uh, forever rests a dead goblin in uh, Battle Ranger armor. It just missed you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and Kenyon's standing like right next to Keo, like, well, and this came in like, shoo. No, because I'm behind Tanubio. Oh, or, did you yeah. run away from him? I, 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 okay. 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 Away. Sorry. 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 Go for I mean, I approve of dead goblins, but not not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> the most knocked out Keo has ever been. Yeah. So it's my turn. It is. Do I hear the giant banging at the gate? Yeah. I'm like, I turn to Tin and I say, uh, actually, I, I'll lift I'll lift the goblin off Kyo and I say, I'll deal with the giant, meet me over there. And I start running toward the gate, drinking potions <laughs> every turn. <laughs> drinking potions like they're alcohol? Drinking potions like they're alcohol as I'm running that direction. So my item interaction would be to heal. Uh, you're going towards the wall? Yeah. Okay. So think about how many potion interactions I'll be able to drink on the way there. <laughs> how many potions do you have? Because it'll take you... It, it's how still a few blocks away. Oh, okay. It's so it's a, it's a few blocks away. I have, it is. I have three. Three? Okay. Right. You, you're That's... able to use them all at that point. I mean, it, once it, he's out of sight, I drop the reduce on him. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I'll just do these and and take me out of the the role play until you want to resume with my character. All right. Uh, so effectively, you are out of initiative. That one ogre got away. Is anyone going to stabilize me? Yes. When it's my turn. Oh, we're out of initiative yeah. now. Yeah. Um, so I cast Spare the Dying cantrip, 
You are stable. I take the next three turns to heal myself. Kyo, mm -hmm. you heal for 23 points of damage. Really? Nice. Actually, I'm going to increase that a little bit more. Nine more. So, Three plus nine, so 32. 32. How do we do healing potions again? 2d4 plus 2. Four plus two. Okay, thank you. Are you really hurt too? Uh, well, she I'm at 26 right now. Thank you. Heal for 12. It's nice when I the artificer is just like, I don't use spells. Yeah. So I, I cured wounds on you four times, and I cured wounds at second level for you. Plus 12. Okay. And then I'm going to eat that berry. <laughs> nice. It might have. Well done. Do I heal? Quite. Yes. It's almost a little more effective for. I used all my spell slots, and then I <laughs> get them all back. Just our, to metagame, it might have been more effective to have either Tenuvial or I dump, well, have Tenuvial dump her spell slots, healing people up, and then give her the more yeah. yeah, It's his berry. No, he, he actually healed more than I could have right now. Because yeah. my higher healing spells I've used yeah, up my spell well, slots. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it would heal all your... You'd get yeah. all your spell slots back, and right. then you could use the new yeah. ones. You would oh, have had all your spell saying. slots, gotcha. plus you would have had all... So, I'm still happy. Gideon, I'm not saying you get to... Yeah, you yeah. The I'm wall. just saying optimal. Yeah. We'll just well, be deeply offended if that makes you feel better. <laughs> if that's what you want, we can If that's that how way. you want to play this, Ben. <laughs> no, we're... It's fine. Now I understand playing not optimally for your character. I do it all the time. This <laughs> <laughs> is up. Uh, okay, so yeah, that is my so, character. Uh, <laughs> so you guys have spent at least four rounds. Mm -hmm. So we are on Kinian currently. Uh, so you're running towards this wall. There is no gate. I want to make that clear. Okay. It's just a stone wall. Uh, the stone wall is 50 foot tall, and it's starting to shake with each uh, with each rumble that comes through this uh, wall. You reach within distance of this wall, and it starts to tip inward, and stones start toppling off of the top of it, uh, falling halfway between you and uh, this barrier. Okay. As they do, it opens up a gap, and uh, you see on the other side a group of a group of hill giants, uh, eight of them, on the other side, basically like. Uh, basically, when this front hill giant punches through the wall, uh, it creates a gap large enough for it to squeeze through, uh, but not necessarily walk through. So this is definitely a choke point. Uh, hill giants are massive, and these ones particularly are uh, pretty big. They look like they are malnourished. They haven't been fed well. They haven't been eating well, basically. They've got massive rucksacks on their back, and their eyes are not focused on you. Their eyes are focused on the shops, uh, specifically the shops near the fighters. So if anything, they're looking towards your front. Hey everybody, uh, it's Alan, your DM. And uh, I wanted to say thank you from the cast and crew for listening to Roll With Advantage. We really appreciate it. If you feel like you want to support the podcast or um, uh, even want to get on the podcast in all sorts of different ways, go ahead and check us out at Patreon, uh, patreon.com backslash Roll With Advantage. Uh, we've got all sorts of different support structures uh that have got fun little things for each of the levels. If you can't support monetarily, comments and subscriptions go a very long ways. So if you could comment in iTunes or on YouTube, uh, that would help out the podcast so much. We also love to interact with our fans. Uh, if you use the hashtag roll with advantage on Twitter, or you can post in our subreddit, we we will be happy to uh to engage with you guys um it's super fun way to get to know some of us and uh, you get to ask questions about your favorite characters 
um, or about the world, uh, what's going on in the background, stuff like that. Um, we also want to say a big thank you for Incompetech.com and BattleBards for letting us use their music uh, and sound effects. They do a fantastic job, and I highly suggest you guys go check them out. Um, just beautiful work from everybody there. For a full list of the pieces we use, uh, go ahead and check out the description, and uh, you'll find it there. So, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye!